recording and go, oh, I understand now why they thought I might be a good fit for him. For example, Subaru, very headstrong, uh, believes very highly in, in justice and friends, you know, not getting disrespected tends to get himself in over his head and things because he's like, I'll just figure it out as I go along. Takes a lot of the responsibility on himself, even when it could use assistance from others. Uh, tends to get very defeatist when he feels like he's hopeless. Very analytical. Um, maybe the part I could inhibit more of or, or take uh, imbibe more of is thinking logically before he acts, but we'll get there. We'll get to that point. Uh, maybe the harem part too, that sounds nice. I'd like to have a, a, a ground dragon that I can just ride around everywhere, but baby steps, baby steps. Um, <clears throat> Rom was a little bit difficult for me because so much of that character is driven by her, um, her love and sacrifice for her sister, and I'm an only child, so I had to do a lot of, like, like I said, like, um, substitution. substitution, yeah, and kind of like, finding that, uh, it was not like a, a naturally, like Ray Ayanami is like more naturally in tune with, with how I am, but I think I am like kind of, maybe I come off like kind of a quiet person or introverted or like a, a woman of few words or something, or just like, oh, she doesn't talk a lot, but when she does, it's very intelligent or something like that. Cause I think there must be like something about me that reads that way to other people. Um, because I keep booking things like that. And you will find like the things you book are kind of usually have to do with some core thing about you. Um, like Sean, I mean, Sean very much is like Subaru. So um, yeah, I don't know if that, what was your question exactly? So it was like whether or not you're viewing the show or as you're voicing it, like, because the show is basically about suffering and the ability to overcome suffering. Yeah, like, yeah. At least the first season. Was there anything from like your guys' personal life or like a personal takeaway yeah. you're like I can use this in my life mm. well I mean Rom does truly I think and we get more into this in season two sorry but um Rom does truly love Roswell and that I I'm like I have a partner and I'm, I'm in love I tend to book a lot of characters that um are in love or like in no deep true love um and not everyone does I didn't realize that until I made a post about how we've all made out with our hands in voiceover because that's how we get the noise in, of kissing in the mic, like we kiss our hand. And then like some actors were like, I've never done that. And then I realized like they don't book roles that are romantically involved with anyone. Um, so I'm wondering if like that is also part of it is like, I, I know love, I am in love, like I, um, I do play a lot of characters that experience love like that, romantic love. Um, Friendly and, love. And not everyone does. There's some, people, there's some people in the BO world that identify, well, I, you know, whatever. I won't get into that. But they, but they, that's not a core element of who they are. It's not, it just isn't. And it is for me. So it's interesting to see, like, kind of what roles you book, what you gravitate towards. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's really fascinating, actually, because you start to see, like, a good actor will find parts of themselves in every character um, or figure out, like, find more of who they are in, with every role that they're diving into. And I do. I truly do. All the time. It's like it's like I'm looking for myself or something. It's really a very complex experience for me. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you.